different fields of science, such as agriculture, education, law, like the previous speakers, with the previous speaker you discussed about the indigenous customary law practices. So Kausai works with different thematic areas with indigenous communities and non-indigenous persons to raise the question of the importance of the different type of knowledge the indigenous cultures always have had and that can, they can contribute to the modern society. So and that's what we mean about identity, that if, um, if people are strong about their own identity, they also recognize the value of their own knowledge and the, the value uh, of, their, of their own culture and can uh, bring it to the, to the outer society. Well, uh, and I think that brings up a whole other concept. When we're looking at the Eurocentric model, mm. where a lot of people are only feel comfortable with uh, with the new stuff that they have, whether the mm. new TV, the new cell phone, or whatever, mm -hmm. and recognize the the power that a traditional person has inherent in their way of life, and to develop the self esteem and mm. uh, recognition of that their tools, although you know socially are uh, kind of disbanded or, or frowned upon are actually the tools or the keys for our mutual uh, survival. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's why Kausai, this organization works both with indigenous and non-indigenous uh, uh, communities because, um, and mainly in the field of education because um, the, well, Bolivia is a country where 62% of the population are indigenous or they recognize themselves as indigenous. But the whole school system from the primary school up to the university is um, the same school system than what we have in Europe or in, in North America. So um, through the course activities, through the through the educational activities Kausai has, it also wants, wants to raise the issue that the education sh educational system should reflect the type of society. Well, and I think that's a very major point out there is that we need to have that kind of, uh, the educational thing does need to be transformed. The culture is, uh, I always try to get my kids to quit school. Uh, because I, of that very fact is that, you know, to be socialized into a consumer world um, mm. and to be just another cog in it did not seem that they're, my kids are intelligent enough uh, to, you know, with, you know, homeschooling kind of scenarios that you can learn a whole lot. Um, and with the indigenous culture, you know, you have to be living on the land to really appreciate all that. So, once again, we're speaking with... Uh, my name is Tiina Saaresland. I'm originally from Finland, but since many years I live in Bolivia and I'm involved with this this um, organization called Kausai. Kausai is a word in the Quechua language and means the life. And what about uh, website, emails? Uh, yes, we have um, a website, www.com. Kausai, K A W S A. Oh. We'll have to get you to read it into the mic one yeah, more maybe time. You can read it. Oh, okay, here we go. My spelling uh, is not well, so good. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it, my eyes aren't so good. So uh, between us, we make a good pair. Okay, so it's Centro. Okay, Kale. No, see, that's the address. Where's the name of the organization? Okay, website triple W K A W S A Y dash. Unik dot org, uh, and the name of the organization is Kawasai, mm -hmm. and that's K A W S A Y. And is there anything that you would specifically like to leave with the folks out there in reference to the work that your group is doing, and an action or something that folks could mobilize to? facilitate uh, sort of the reemergence of a indigenous understanding of culture, education, seeds. That seems like you guys are working on that whole scenario. Um, the main focus of CAUSA has, to, has been to, to raise the de debate, to raise the issue of what kind of education uh, people have in Bolivia and also the, the issue that indigenous peoples, indigenous cultures have a lot to offer uh, not to be treated uh, well in Bolivia, we have this educational reform since 
a bit more than 10 years, which for the first time recognizes that indigenous children and youth have the possibility to be taught during the first years of primary school in their own languages. But that's the only uh, uh, part of the indigenous cultures that is being taken into account in the school system. So we think that the indigenous cultures have also a lot of uh, other things to contribute within the educational system as what comes to the methods of, of teaching, the objectives of teaching, why, why people are at the school um, and, uh, and their sciences, their arts, their technologies. How many folks are in the school? Um, it's an NGO that has um, educational activities ah. with indigenous communities and with urban communities okay. and is trying to develop uh, system for higher education that within the system of higher education also the indigenous knowledge would be recognized and the work with the identities is a okay. central issue and um, and that sort of brings back the traditional way of life is yes. that the, if you want a good education within traditional ways of life you need to move back to the land Yes, and what we try to do is is that the people would receive the education that is fit to their needs and to their world view uh, and respects their cultures within their communities. So that's why we bring the, the courses to the communities where people live. And, right. and also at the moment we are trying to, to work for um, uh, a change in the Bolivian leg legislation in the way that um, also home teaching or community teaching would be accepted as part of education so that you are not uh, obliged you, to yeah, take your children you, you to the school. You do need the badge. <laughs> yeah, or the ticket to get in. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and your name again is? My name is Tina Sarasant, and I come from the Centro de Culturas Originarias Causa. So if there is anybody who is listening to this and is working with similar issues, we would be very happy to have some exchange and contacts with people from the, from world. the listeners. And the, that is K-A-W-S-A-Y. Thank you so thank much. You. All right, you're listening to www.earthcycles.net. Uh, just in a minute, we're going to have Manny Pino join us. Uh, is, yes, pardon me. Thank you so much. And I got to hit a couple buttons and and do this.